Hey, it's Pamela with another episode of Instant Impact for coaches and healers who want a quick nugget that'll make a big difference in their business. So welcome. Today, we're going to talk about taking action for quick results. And what I hear over and over from people is, yes, I'm building for the long term. Yes, I am trying to you know, build a coaching empire or a healing empire or something like that. But I also need this result and I need it quickly. How can I do that? And so the, the, the distinction that I want to create for you today is how to figure out what to do when. This is one of the biggest questions that we get in my um, year-long coaching program is what should I be working on right now? Um, I want to make sure I'm working on the highest value activity right now. How should I be spending my time? And there is no one size fits all answer to that. I mean, that's one of the reasons uh, that you, you enter a coaching program is because there's no one size fits all. There's certain elements that you have to have in place in your business. But here's where the interesting thing come, interesting idea comes in when we're talking about taking quick action. Because when you learn tactics, you often confuse the tactic for the only way to do something. Now, let me explain that. I'll have people say, well, what email management system do you use? So I can do the same thing, thinking that however I send out my emails is the key to my success. It's not. I have a, an, a certain email management system that is fairly advanced, fairly expensive, and can handle sending out multiple thousands of emails at a time because that's the business I've grown. If you are starting off, you don't need that. You know, the expression use a cannon to kill a flea. It's just not important. So, so as you're starting off, um, you don't necessarily, you want to look at the strategy called how do I email people and do I have a system to email people, but you don't necessarily want to look at the tactic, which is what software are you using? Another example for quick results, people will often tell me, well, you know, I'm developing my high ticket offer, my signature system. I'm developing this as, um, as a program, I'm putting all the materials in Kajabi, I'm trying to figure out all the tech and I can't get a client until I do that. And that's not true, you can. You can instead uh, you know, create your materials, create your handouts in Canva and you get book a client and you email them the handouts. Now, do you wanna do that forever? Absolutely not. That's not um, the system that you wanna set up to scale, but it is a system to get you started. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm stopped because I've got to set this up and this up and this up, whether it's tech or whether it's um, you know, marketing systems or infrastructure that you have to set up and you're feeling overwhelmed, what do you do with all that? You ask yourself one key question, and this is your instant impact key for today, is what is the minimum viable action I can take to get the result I want? What is the minimum viable action I can take to get the result I want. Often in manufacturing, they talk about minimum viable product. So they kind of do a demo, a prototype, and um, say, you know, will does this sell? Is are people interested in this? It's it's a little bit of a of a let's test this out thing before we go whole hog. So when you're looking at I need to email people, or I need to post on social, or I need to get my high ticket offer done, or something like that, what is the minimum viable action you can take? That will get the result you want. Um, so I want you to think in terms of, do I need this to sort of be quick and dirty or do I need this to be elegant and automated? And almost always I'm going to suggest that you build the quick and dirty version first and then uh, perfect it and then hone it as you go because getting it done is so much more important than working on perfection forever and ever and ever. Once you get the quick and dirty version done, then you can take it and automate it. Then you can make it more elegant. Then you can have a designer reform out the handouts if they're not exactly the way you want them to be, but you've got it done. Um, so the other thing for quick action is usually that's the scarier thing to do. So when you think about, oh, I could just, you know, I, I need to perfect this. I need to work on it. And four weeks later, you still don't have a client. You still haven't taken the marketing actions because you're working on your marketing materials or you're working on your offer or something like that. Now, I'm not saying to not do any work on them, but what's the minimum viable action? That's the minimum viable work that you can do to move you forward 
Uh, done is better than perfect is one of my favorite phrases when considering how we're going to do something. Done is better than perfect. So I'm going to ask you to adopt the question, what is the minimum viable product or minimum viable action that I can do today? I'm going to ask you to adopt the mantra, done is better than perfect, and see if that doesn't create a whole lot more results in your life and your world. All right. If you find that one of the challenges is you don't know the strategy behind something, because for example, I've said that if you understand the strategy, it's much easier to figure out the minimum viable action. If you think that everything is a tactic, I need this email sequence, I need uh, this um, course manager to put my high ticket offer out, then you are gonna be slowed down because you're going through a certain tactic, which may not suit you in terms of complexity right now. You need the strategy. I want to invite you to come to my three-day event, Empower. It's a virtual event. You can attend from home. You can wear your pajamas if you like. I don't care. But you can get three days of awesome business building at 90% off the cost, what it used to cost to come live and in person. TheEmpowerEvent.com. The link is below. Join me because what you do is so important. The lives you want to transform are so important that I want to make sure you have the tools to get there and to get your clients there. All right, click the, uh, click the link below. I'll see you at Empower.